5 seconds to go start learned council for the appellant has raised the plea of promissory estoppel before us and has contended that the government having itself assured the appellant and his other clerks that they would be promoted as lecturers and having itself taken steps to prepare the seniority list of demonstrators working in various government medical colleges was bound by its promise and therefore ought to have issued the necessary notification that the posts of lecturers in the department of pharmacy would be filled up to promotion of demonstrators since this was not done the high court should itself have commanded the government to issue such a notification so that the promise which was made to the appellant was fulfilled it is contended that the government had already issued such notification in respect of the posts of professors and readers by providing that they would be filled up to the extent of 50% by promotion of readers and lecturers and therefore in respect of the department of pharmacy the same policy should have been adopted it is not disputed that the posts of lecturers in the department of pharmacy as also in other departments of pharmacy are filled up by direct recruitment it is also not disputed that so far as demonstrators are concerned there are no rules statutory or otherwise which provide that they would be promoted to the post to lecturers the high court has also considered this aspect of the matter and has recorded a finding that medical education in government medical colleges is a three tier system consisting of the posts of professors readers and lecturers while these posts were earlier filled up by direct recruitment by the two government notifications issued in the year 1977 it was provided that the posts of professors and readers would be filled up to the extent of 50% by promotion of readers and lecturers and the remaining 50% would be filled up by direct recruitment the scheme of personal promotion was also introduced under which a lecturer or reader who had put in service for a specified period was to be automatically promoted to next higher grade available to the readers or professors as the case may be no such provision was made for the promotion of demonstrators nor was any scheme of personal promotion made applicable to them the high court has also found it as a fact that the respondents or any of them had not given any assurance to the appellant or other demonstrators that they would be promoted to the posts of lecturers in view of these findings which are findings of fact we need not enter into the factual dispute once again assuming that any such assurance was given to the appellant either by the state government or by the director that the appellant or any of his colleagues would be promoted as lecturers let us examine whether the rule of promissory estoppel could be invoked in the particular circumstances of the case applying the above principles to the instant case even if it is accepted that the state government or the director medical education and training assured the appellant or any of his colleagues that they would be promoted to the post of lecturer such a promise cannot be enforced against the respondents as the avenue of promotion for demonstrators to the post of lecturers was not provided either under the statute or any executive instruction moreover if the post of lecturer was filled up by promotion of demonstrator it would defeat the existing mode of recruitment namely that it can be filled up by direct recruitment only and not by promotion stop